Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and today uh, it's rainy, so after working on squirrel cages all morning, I'm out in the shop working on bikes. Now, some of you guys want to know the finer point to this bike, so I got some time. Let's run through it. It's not real complicated. Front suspension, yeah, it's got a cheapo uh, front suspension fork off a Walmart bike. Just as easy to put that on as it is a regular one. Uh, <coughs> front steering geometry. This is the neck off of one of those cheapo BMX bikes, so I didn't have to weld anything on. That's where the handlebars go on. It's not a regular neck. So I just drilled a hole in it and ran a rod back to another neck on another bike and welded that on. Then I had to extend the handlebars. The Atomic Zombie plans called for extended handlebars, so I welded a piece onto the handlebars, and there you have it. Uh, you can see this or not. Try to get a good angle there so you can see how it works. Works great. Works real good. A little weird, but it works. Okay, I've just got the seat bolted on a sliding set of rails. I got a seat back here, which doubles also as a shock absorber mount. And once again, here's a cheapo shock absorber off of a full suspension Walmart Huffy bike. And that goes back to uh, the same rear, uh, rear wheel assembly off of a Huffy bike. And in order to make these work with a 27 inch wheel, this fork is only designed for a 24 inch wheel, but there's enough room for a, a C700 28 inch wheel. I just had to take the studs for the brakes, cantilever brakes, and cut them off and weld them further up. That's basically all there is to it. There's a cheapo Shimano cluster with a noodle here for, to guide the uh, cable down. And just a cheapo SRAM shifter and a brake lever. That's pretty much uh, all there is to it. And as you can see out here, it's kind of a windy, rainy, overcast day. Not good. So I'm not riding. Have a great day. I'm Tinny.